Okay, we'll go ahead and start uh, creating a blank new folder. Uh, we'll call this our first site. And notice that it's blank. Uh, rather, it's empty. There's nothing in there. So I'll go ahead and close it down. And in Dreamweaver, we'll go ahead and start a new site by clicking Site down to New Sites. Uh, give this website a name. And we're going to go ahead and call it um, just our first site should be fine. Normally you would uh, maybe give it the domain name of the site you're working on. Our first site and I'll go ahead and press enter. Uh, we do not want to use server technology and we'll go ahead and edit the cop local copies on my machine so we need to tell Dreamweaver where that folder is that we just created. So we'll go ahead and click on this down arrow and choose the our first site folder and hit select and press enter. Uh, here we're going to select FTP and normally we would give the name uh, our domain name or an IP address that looks something like this and we would give an FTP login which is usually a series of letters and numbers same goes for our FTP password and we'll go ahead and click on next down at the bottom uh, we don't want to enable check in or check out that's for teams of web developers or web designers I'll hit enter and hit enter once more and over here on the right hand side I'll right click on our site and I'll choose new file we'll start off by creating a file that's called index.htm that's going to be our home page and I'll go ahead and create uh, two more pages. Let's say one page for photos and right click choose new file and one page for fun.htm. We'll also go ahead and right click and create a new folder. All of our images will go in that one folder. I'll double click on index to open it up over here and uh, it's good web design practice to insert a just a blank new table maybe with one row one column that's 800 pixels wide we'll change pixels and the border is going to be zero okay we'll leave the the cell spacing doesn't matter because we will just have one cell and the cell padding the distance between uh, the cell walls and whatever's inside we'll leave that at zero as well go ahead and click OK and click once uh, and just maybe close this side temporarily center and we'll change the default font to a sans serif font we'll say welcome to our website I hit the enter key we'll change the font size up at the top make it a little bit bigger uh, maybe change the color Go up to text down to color maybe choose a blue color or green color I'll choose a blue color and hit OK alright so that kind of gets us started with uh, creating our, our first website